Hi guys, I'm back. This is part two to my video of how to troubleshoot a faulty power door lock system on your car. Uh, sorry about that, I had to take a little breather and a glass of water. Yep, this clown gets thirsty too. Alright, so, as we talked before, this is the wiring diagram, and I showed you how to read all this. And right now we're up to the relay. I took the relay out. And like I said, you can always take a look at my relay videos and uh, to see how these things work. And this one has letters in it. It goes from A to F. And in here, it's A. So I don't know if you can see that. And then all the way to the right is F. Now, I did say before that F was ground, right? For that alarm thing that they spliced into? Well, this, the clown was wrong. It happens on occasion. I'm not perfect all the time. But I did catch it, and I think that's what's good about it. Uh, if you look at the where I showed you before, that black wire goes to terminal F, which is all the way at the end over here. Now when I looked at F up on the wiring diagram here, F is right here. I don't know if you can see that. And that is power when you unlock. So, the, the alarm needed power when it unlocks to disarm it, to lock with the light blue wire to arm it, and power was from the orange wire. Now, let me show you here, if you have power, say when you hit lock on your switch, you should have your light blue goes on with power. It activates and swings over to bring power to your light blue. Now, if you don't want to open up your whole door like it did here to see if your switches are good, this is another way you could do it. What you do is hook up your test light to this, which is A on the relay. Um, A in the relay is the first one, like I said before. First one here. And that's your light blue wire. And when you hit lock with your light there, and of course you connect your, your test light to ground, it should turn on, it should light up. And also check this, I'm going to check this one too, just to give you guys a little, this orange wire. That should also always be, be live all the time, where the circuit breaker was. Alright. Light blue wire here, remember before I was talking about this light blue wire on the switch? Now, if you hit this to the lock, like I showed you in the diagram, I already, I already stuck my uh, test light on here to a good known ground, which I tested before, always test your grounds. I stuck the test light inside the light blue wire, you see the light blue wire right there, where the test light's going into? That's coming from your switch. So if you turn this to your unlock position, sorry, wrong one. Your unlock, your lock position, that should light up. Yay! All right. So your switch is good for the blue wire. Do the same thing. Do the same thing for your black wire. Like I said, orange is hot all the time, which I tested in part one's video. So do the same thing for your blue. Over there, sorry, not your blue, your black. Three wires. To see if you get power to your black. Now, let me just connect this to the orange wire, because I said I was going to do that. And your orange wire should be hot at all times. And your orange wire here is your third pin from the right. There you go. And that's coming from your circuit breaker, 30 amp circuit breaker. So you go ahead and continue and test all those. Okay. Whew. All right, so we tested everything here and up. 
If you don't have power on your orange wire, the one I just tested, and you do have power on your circuit breaker, and let's say you have pow you have your defogger that goes on, that means somewhere along here, there's an open in the, in the circuit. So you have to troubleshoot that. All right. Um, if you don't have power in your, in your light blue or your black wires coming from your switches, it's either your switches are bad, or well, most likely, if you don't have power coming here, most likely something from here. You probably don't have power here. So I will check that orange wire. Because, like I said, if the switch was bad, one switch would go on, and the other switch wouldn't. That's another way to check that. I mentioned all that in my previous video. So, anyway, now that I've thoroughly confused you and myself. <laughs> so, well, we checked this orange, light blue, and the black. Black, let's just say we checked it. Same principle as light blue. Your relay. You could back probe here, like it did, with the switch up here. And once you uh, once you lock, you should have power going. Remember I said to your gray wires. Okay. So if you back probe on the gray wires coming out of the out of the harness over there, and you hit your lock, you should have power on your gray wires. Now I'm gonna do that test, but I'm gonna do it here by the motor, All right? Because I already I already did a test here. I'm I'm gonna. Make believe we did it here, and that worked also. Now, if you do the test here, you don't have power here when you hit. What was it lock? Lock, lock, lock. Yeah, when you hit lock, this is lock side, the unlock side. Yeah, if you don't have power to your gray wires when you lock here, that means your relay is bad. If you do have power here, but you don't have power to your motor here, which I'll show you in a second, that means somewhere along this line, you have to trace that 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 gray wire. Something's bad here. Same thing with your tan wires, your unlock side. If you have power here, if you have power here on your e on your tan wires coming out of the connector over there, when you hit unlock, and you don't have power over here on your tan lines, when you hit unlock, then somewhere around here there's an open or a short. So I'm gonna I'm make believe we did this t these tests, and now I'm just gonna test the pot the motor is in. We're done. So lock, gray should have power, tan should be ground. Let's check that, and always check your ground side too. Let me just reiterate something here. Always check to see if your ground's good. Also, check this also when you're here. You cannot rule out the ground side. You hook up your test light to a power source and touch the D connector in this case. The probe it over there, like I stuck it before, you know, stuck it in the hole. <laughs> you stick it there, your test light goes to a, a power, make sure you test it to a good ground. Then you stick it in there and make sure it lights. This should light all the time. All right. Don't forget the ground. If it's not good, check your wiring or the connection to the body or wherever it's connecting to. Check all your connections. Now, in this car, let me show you what it looks like in there. Sorry, bear with me. One second. All right, let me get the light in here. This is a window motor. Sorry, not the window motor. Duh. It's your uh, power door lock motor. This activates the lever up and down over here when you hit the switch and the connections down here this is where your uh, tan and gray wires go now under there there's a clip I'll show you how to get that out there's a clip that you uh, hit the tongue underneath you push it up and you pull it out let me see if I can do this real quick you guys here Sorry if I'm getting you guys seasick, but motion sickness with the camera going up and down all the time. Push up and pull. Hold on a second. 
Ah, got it. This is what it looks like. This is what you, what you push down and you pull out. Ah, sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. I'm a one man clown here. Now, remember, let me real quickly again. I've said this a couple times. When you lock, this switch is over. Energizes here, goes down to gray. So when you hit lock, this gray should have power. You connect your test light to a good known ground that you've tested. And I've tested this before. Make sure when you put it in there, you scratch it up a bit if it's a little rusty like this, so you get a good ground. Actually, don't do what I'm doing. That's a bad ground. Go to a good ground. I know this works, so that's why I don't really care. But if it doesn't work, then you need a real good ground. Make sure you double, triple check it's a good ground. So let's stick this into the gray wire and hit the lock side of the switch. Get you guys here. This is it right here. Stick it in the hole. Ah. Right, let's stuck it in there. Let's leave that. Ah! You suck. Let's try this again. Let me see if I could stick this somewhere. Oh! Ah! There's like bloopers over here. Right. That's gonna work. You know why? Because I'm cool like that. Right. So I stuck it in the gray. Let me press the lock. Hold on. It will help if I put my relay back in, right? Yeah! <laughs> well, that shows you if it's a bad relay, that's what's going to happen. It's not going to light up. So that was a good test, too. Ah. Now, let me put this relay back in. Back in here. Uh, where are you? Oh, please bear with me. Wait a second. I'm just popping the relay back in. That's all I'm doing. All right, it's in. Let's do this again. You should have power when you hit the lock. So let's see the moment of truth. Dun dun dun! Yay! Now, if you hit unlock, remember, like I said, polarity gets reversed. You hit the tan wire, and double check that if it doesn't unlock. This could be a culprit too over here. Your tan wire is the one on the left. The one on the left. So let me stick it in the hole. Sorry guys. One second. Okay, I'll show you what I did here. Now I'm gonna test the unlock position. Now I'm going to hit unlock. Yay! It works! Alrighty! So that's how you check everything here. That's the whole wiring diagram. If you have any questions, you could ask the clown underneath when you post the comments. And uh, please subscribe to my channel. There will be many more of these videos to come. And also like me. It's free to like me. And don't worry. There's plenty of this clown to go around. So, thanks for watching. Ta-ta.